Hello, and welcome to a special edition of the State of the Fleet Industry video series produced by Automotive Fleet Magazine. And this series is designed to put a spotlight on key leaders in today's fleet management industry. And today I have the honor to interview Shlomo Crandis. He's CEO of Wheels Donlin. And Shlomo is going to provide us an update on the ongoing Wheels Donlin integration. So thank you for joining us, uh, Shlomo. Hey, Mike, it's good to be here. And you're very kind to call it an honor, but um, I'm really happy <laughs> to be able to talk to folks about what we're doing. Very good. Well, let's get right into it. Let's let's talk about what you are doing. I think you've uh, kind of hit a significant milestone. As I understand, for the past six months, you've been working on a platform integration strategy, and you're ready to discuss it. And uh, love to hear about this. No, I'd love to talk about it. So if you think about it, we needed to decide how to implement our technology over the next few years. And mm -hmm. so what we're going to do is start with the wheels architecture. We're going to build in the more unique and high value features from Donlin's system. We always build with an eye on the future. Um, so we get clients onto our platform sooner and we'll invest in the one technology. And when you think about how technology evolves, when you zoom out five years, you have new technology anyway. And while we're doing this, we have some commitments that we've made to some clients on our legacy platform. And we're going to continue to honor um, high value commitments that we've made. So that's kind of what the decision is. I, I want to talk a little bit about how we came to it. So over the last few months, um, we identified a cross-functional group of leaders inside Legacy Wheels and Legacy Donlin. They represented our operating areas, our IT area, probably most important is our client experience area. And they put together a plan for looking at the two systems that we were looking to bring together. Then we interviewed 62 clients who are either super users of Fleet View or Fleet Web. And we also included clients who are on both systems already to get their feedback. We surveyed over a thousand clients and took the results from all of this work in order to add to our decision. We also completed side-by-side -side comparisons of the systems and heard from owners of individual products and processes and as we evaluated the platforms, we also reviewed processes that both companies used. Um, I can't begin to communicate how much the teams cared about getting this right. The platform work has been a huge priority and we have taken a significant amount of time to get to the right answer. And when I talk about taking a lot of time, it hasn't really taken away from work that we do for clients. We've done a ton of work um, at night and on weekends. And we've kept all of our staff from both companies so that we could focus very much on this integration. Well, you know, that's a very comprehensive um, analysis that you conducted right there. And, and what's impressive about it, it's in six months. You did this right. all within six months. So um, I'd love to learn more about that. And are there new products and services that are gonna be developed for this platform? So Mike, we're always thinking about new products and services. The starting point for bringing new things to our clients is really putting in new products that either Wheels had or Donlin had that the other didn't have. So we have products like our reimbursement product, garage management, pool management. We have different approaches to reporting um, that we're going to build into our new platform. And our strategy is really to continue following our approach to invention that allows us to adapt to client needs and address client requests sort of in real time. And while we're executing our strategy, we're going to continue listening to our clients because we know that we're going to adapt. Part of it is going to be changing plans that we've already put in place, but part of the adapting is going to be because the world changes. And while we're doing this, there's new uh, features that we're going to need to build in that we don't see today or haven't thought of today. Yeah, when do clients start migrating over to the new platform? So we're going to be very intentional about the migration because we recognize that a change like this subjects clients and us to risk. And sometimes it makes people anxious. 
So I want to start out by saying nothing is changing today. And that relates to the technology. It also relates to the people who work with our clients. What we're going to do first is focus on um, how we manage data in our two companies, because as we migrate over, we want to make sure that um, the data looks the same and can still be analyzed both by us and by our clients. Um, we're also going to make sure that the billing is consistent as we move to from one platform to the new platform. And we're going to focus on high value services. Once we've done base work, then we'll start working with clients on migrating over. And I can tell you that we've had a handful of clients already raise their hands and say that they are ready to move over. In some cases, it's clients who are already operating on both Wheels and Donlin's platforms. In other cases, it's newer clients. And there are some third cases where um, they've looked at the market and they know of some features that we have on Fleet View and they want to get that benefit. Yeah, it's, it's really an exciting time. And for, for many, I guess, in the Wheels Donlin organization, this is a once in a career opportunity to make this kind of a, a change to an ex, uh, and creating a new platform. So the question uh, that comes to my mind is what's next? Where do you go from here? Before I get to where we go from here, mm -hmm. as we do move clients, we we're putting together a very extensive uh, readiness approach that includes uh, process maps and checklists. And our goal is to really efficiently move clients over in a way where they're not disrupted. It starts with training our own team members and training our clients. And then once we're ready, we'll be able to move folks over as quickly as possible. Once we've done that, um, when we think about where do we go from here, you know, in a lot of ways, not much is going to change from a client perspective. We're going to continue to work on client needs as normal. We're going to focus on continued evolution and invention related to electric vehicles, connected vehicles, better use of data to make decisions. And we're going to have a separate transition management team that's going to be focused on the integration so that our client facing teams can continue focusing on clients the way they have for the last 57 years and 83 years. Um, we will continue communicating with clients about new features and new processes, some of which will be related to the integration, some won't be related to the integration. There'll be normal updates that we make all the time. And one thing that I should say is we will continue reinforcing our culture that starts kind of number one with client success getting it right for our clients, um, taking a long-term view, and having fun as we deliver services and new thinking to our clients. Well, thank you for taking the time to give us this update. Uh, it sounds like a very exciting uh, strategic initiative on the part of Wheels Donlin. And uh, please keep us uh, updated as future developments arise. Thank you, Mike.